You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by this video today. I truly appreciate it. It's another one of my vintage sets in the Suzy Homemaker line. This is the Sweet Shop Ice Cream Maker, as seen on TV, makes real ice cream all flavors. Now, that's on TV way back in 1968, because that's when this is from. Make all these treats and more. And underneath that, it says, follow simple recipes enclosed. No need for special foods. Use regular home ingredients. So there was no mixes or anything required to use this maker set. Remember, it's for kids to take out and play with. Susie Homemaker, Sweet Shop Ice Cream Maker, makes real ice cream. Get all these features. Easy to use. Well, we will see how easy it is to use. Now, that color graphic wraps around. It's pretty neat. We've seen this one before. It's all the kids playing with the different sets. Now, I believe this whole row of sets, I've done all of these. The one that I'm missing is way down here. I will zoom in just a little bit. It is the Toffee Puller, it's called. I'll just show you this bottom panel so you can see. You know what I've done. I'll put... Uh, Links to some of these videos in the description. So this is the one I'm missing. It was part of the candy maker, which one day I hope to get. I've seen it, but I have not been able to attain it just yet. All right, there we go. Quick zoom out. Now the top of the box has this graphic on it, and then the back, which is the only thing we haven't seen. Kind of shows you other Topper toys, Susie Homemaker toys. This is the Susie Homemaker Center with these beautiful Susie Homemaker appliances. Something wonderful is happening in the world of little girls. Now, I haven't done some of these. Uh, these two for sure, are actually three. But the other ones I have shown you on video, except for that dishwasher sink. That'll be fun to find that one day. It's always fun looking for these kinds of toys and showing them on video. Now, I had to do work on this. So that's what I'm going to show you next. Let me get this out of the box. We'll take a look at it and I'll show you what I had to do to fix it. All right, here we go. This is the main unit. Let me show you the instructions first because that'll kind of give you an idea what all the pieces are called. So we have the basically a picture of the main ice cream maker here, topper toys, and then you have the main unit, the ice bucket, the lid, the mixer, and then the lever knob. The lever knob is installed, and this is what you're going to need to make the ice cream. And then this side here, I'll put it this way if anybody wants to print that out. Okay. Be sure lever knob is all the way to the right, done, and then put your main ice bucket in there and follow this recipe to finally get to ice cream. And they give you some cleaning information here, helpful hints, okay? So one spot they say crushed ice, oh, the one spot they say ice cubes, and then down here they say crushed ice, depending on the consistency you want. And then that's really it with the instructions. Not much more to it, but... I've had to spend some time on this unit. I've had it for a while, and there was issues. Let me show you. At the bottom here, this is cracked in three spots. So I sealed it in hopes to stop it from leaking. And then the salt and the ice go in this outer section, and then you're making ice cream in this little tiny section. Now, having a completely plastic unit for making ice cream, I don't think was too good of an idea. So what happened also is that there is this black rubber gasket in there and when you put pressure on this it puts pressure on the plastic and you don't get a good seal so i actually added a couple washers under here actually took a washer cut it in half and then put one half on one side and one half on the other and that seems to hold it i tested it with water i put water in both chambers and it did not leak so we will see now this goes in here and then you've got these locking handles that lock in Okay, now it's putting pressure on that black gasket. So to take the pressure off, you actually have to move this this way, and then that actually disrupts that gasket, and then the ice cream drops out here. You push it out. Then you put in your mixer paddle, and this is actually supposed to be all the way up so that when you're mixing, it's turning. Watch, this just slides in, locks on that, and then you turn it like this very fidgety so we'll see what happens fidgety and squeaky and then there is the cover it says turn here for this I guess I could just go in either direction and that's really it there's not much more to it besides that so it's a little finicky um, there's not much more to it I can show you maybe the underside did I not show you that yeah, it's basically all empty under there 
and it's just plastic. So we'll see how it goes. We're gonna give it a shot. I'll forge through whatever happens to get some ice cream. So when I come back then, we'll go over this recipe, show you all the ingredients, and get started. All right, here we go. I have assorted tools off to the side. Quite a few, actually. I have a couple sets and extra measuring spoons, just so I have them handy. And then, let's see. First one I'm going to need is a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, this is 16 ounces, and that is two cups, so I need half of that. So one cup light or heavy cream. Let's do it. Sometimes I have this all measured out, but I thought, well, today let's do it right, right in front of you. Okay, we'll use this bowl as my vessel for all the ingredients. And I've got a mixture of some of my small tools and regular size kitchen tools. Okay, and that's all done. Then two tablespoons of light corn syrup. Two tablespoons. That's why I have extra measuring spoons. Here we go. This way I don't have to wash anything because I don't really have a sink nearby. Okay, and then after that is one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, here we go. Now, of course, well, actually, what you're seeing now is no eggs in this. And then one half teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm set. Mix it up. Half a teaspoon. I kind of like a little extra. All right, there we go. I was going to use my big mixer, my hand one, but I thought, well, now I'm thinking, let me just use a regular old whisk. It says mix syrup, cream, sugar, and flavoring, and stir for two minutes. Of course, now we are making vanilla ice cream, yes? It also says you can substitute half and half if you don't want to use uh, light or heavy cream. You know what, maybe I will use my big mixer. It's always fun to use this one now that it's all set because it mixes so much better. I remember once mentioning I was going to do a vintage kitchen tool gadget series, but I don't know, I just got over overloaded with new toys and vintage toys that I have and haven't been able to do that. But I thought that would always be a fun series. This actually looks like it's getting thicker. Okay, I will come back then and we will move on to the next step. Okay, so I decided to transfer to a measuring cup. It'll be easier to pour into that little chamber. It came out really fluffy like. So it did add some air to it. All right. Mm. Nice taste to it. All right, here we go. So now I need to pour this into center section. Now I cannot 100% guarantee that I'm not gonna end up with leaks on this machine. So we'll just forge through it. Okay, from one half inch. Here, let me do this. This might, oh no, I gotta, I gotta do it inside the machine. Here we go. Okay, that's about a half inch. And yeah, it looks like double batch. All right, next step after that is to put this back on, and this is going to keep you from getting the ice and the salt in there. Now, this handle needs to be, as you can see, all the way up because it's putting going to put pressure on what's inside. All right, then after that, 
Put mixture down, okay, keep handle up. Fill ice bucket halfway and then use four tablespoons all right, of salt and then fill it up again and four more tablespoons. So we have everything we need here. Here we go. Again, I decided to use crushed ice. Of course, we've learned from previous videos that making ice cream is a tad messy. You're gonna get stuff everywhere, but nice clean surface, we're good. Okay, I think I'm gonna add my four tablespoons here. Okay, so halfway with ice, fill ice bucket halfway and then put four tablespoons of salt on type of ice cubes, fill up the rest, okay. It's nice that it's covered, you don't have to worry about getting your salt in the mixture. You know what, I wasn't even counting. Was that four or five? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got a giant cube there. I'm gonna leave those cubes out. Oh, I might need them, we'll see. I really don't see how the plastic is gonna turn very easily here, this handle on the inside. So much ice pack in there, but we will see. We're gonna give this machine the benefit of the doubt. Just enough crushed ice. Okay, four more. Okay, so now lid goes on. What I'll do is I'll just give a little cleanup of the cubes that fell everywhere and then come back and decide because I can just let it sit now. Remember, okay, put lid over handle and set in place on ice cream. Let's stand for 45 minutes. Remove cover and refill ice bucket to top with more ice cubes and more salt. Replace cover. Turn handle back and forth for 10 minutes continuously. All right, that's a lot. So I'm going to follow step two and see if I can get this to turn. I will be right back. All right, so now remember I had two options. Let this sit for 45 minutes. It's only been four or five minutes since I left you here. Or I can, and then add more ice, more salt, and then mix for 10 minutes, or I can mix for 20 minutes and avoid all of that. So I tried to mix it, watch. As you can imagine, it does say hold the top lid. It's gonna take a little bit to get this going back and forth, so. I could do this for 20 minutes. I've done it longer in videos. Believe me, people still tell me on my McDonald's maker, you mix for the whole time, or the Dairy Queen maker. All right, well, I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes. Oh, you can't push down. Oh, I almost, I lifted it up just a little too. So it's a little fidgety, but I'll keep checking back. I won't do this for 20 minutes on camera to where I can maybe get a full turn. But it's starting to loosen up. All right, so I will keep checking back with you. And well, I thought I'd take the cover off and show you. Now, I've been doing this for five minutes now, not too long. I was able to finally get this to break free, so I could spin in one direction, but then they do recommend back and forth. So that's what I'm doing. I will keep checking back in 20 minutes. Well, actually 15 now. Kind of a neat sound. Yeah, let's record it for a little bit. I remember I used to hang out and just talk about things while I was mixing. Like school, everybody's probably starting school. Started, been in it for a week or two, maybe some longer. 
How's that going for everybody? Let me know in the comments. When you're in school, you'll think you're never going to get out of school, but soon it'll just be all over, and that part of your life will complete, and then you move on. So it happens really fast. But when you're in it, of course, it feels like eternity. I guess that's like most things in life, right? Unless it's something you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Now, you may love school, so it doesn't feel like that. Or you might love using a vintage Susie homemaker mixer and mixing back and forth for 20 minutes. I don't know. Could feel like an eternity. But as you're talking, I guess that does take the time up. Now, if I did this on a live stream, then I would be able to see you chatting back, but I just don't think there's enough lucky penny shop watchers anymore sadly well I just want to peek just a little oh yeah starting to thicken up already sweet and I've got no leaks on the bottom so so far I would say we're doing good So I guess my doubts were unfounded because it's working. And here's what I'll do. I'll stop here because I'll just stop talking and then I will come back and keep checking back. Maybe I'll add a little more ice and salt. Spinning better now. I'll be back. Okay, so I set my timer for, oh, it just went down, for 45 minutes, or 40 minutes, and I'm at 30 minutes, so I have used up about 10 minutes of mixing time. Uh, last I looked, it was already ice cream, look. So I think what I'm going to do went faster than I expected. I'm going to come back now and extrude this. I think we're good to go. Okay, here we go, time to extrude. Now this is where this needs to slide over, so you gotta press it down. Okay, I think that's good, we will see. And then it should push out, but we'll see if it's open enough. It is thick. I'm just gonna keep pushing down. That's some serious ice cream, holy cow. I'm putting some good pressure down. My arm is about three feet away or two feet away, the length of my arm, so I'm not getting a good top down. Let me get another hand in here. Here, I'll tell you what, let me zoom in so you see as it goes down. And then I will put two hands on it. There we go, a little better. It's holding up pretty good. I have to say, looking at it now from here and camera angle too, 
It's probably the nicest looking ice cream that's ever come out of a machine. Okay. Let's get this in here. Ooh, that took some energy. I have to tell you also that, yeah, I have worked up a sweat. Hmm, it's like a log. It's a log scream. Look at that. It came out nice. Let me grab a spoon, another one here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this to maybe a little Sunday dish. Ooh, look at the consistency. It's perfect. Mm, let me make this into a little Sunday. All right, here we go. Let's get this in. It actually came out really nice. I want to look inside there, so when I'm done here, I will come back. We'll pull that out. Of course, a little chocolate, a little cherry. Hopefully this doesn't come out too fast. Like I said, remember, this is for little kids, so I think it would require a little bit of adult supervision on this one to get that machine working right and get everything set. And my cherry on top. Let's take a look at that. I would say overall, a pretty successful ice cream maker, would you think? And then let's give it a taste with chocolate. I'll save the cherry. Mmm, it's really good. Good consistency, too. Right out of the machine. Usually right out of these machines, right? It's watery and it needs to be refrozen or frozen in general. But overall, I would say this one is great. All right, tell you what. I'm going to come back and just look inside. All right, here we go. Now, normally you would twist this out, but we want to close this. Okay. And then, yeah, I mixed it without the lid on in case everybody's wondering, but they do say put the lid on. Wow, that thing is really in there now. I just want to see how much ice cream is still in there. Trapped. Not too bad. Look at that. That's still... Scrapable. Let's see if we can turn this. There is still some pushed on the bottom, so you probably need a long spoon to get that out. But I think overall, this came out great. What do you think? The Susie Homemaker Ice Cream Maker. I do want to say to everybody out there, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And if you want to see more videos like this, look in that description. I'll have a playlist there. As always, you can search our website, luckypennyshop.com. If you can give the video again a thumbs up, I truly appreciate it. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.